were some jobs that you had before becoming a tattoo artist? I was a pizza delivery boy. Um, I worked at Petland, a scooping cat shit. I was a bartender and a waitress. And uh, yeah, mainly those things that I suck of. I'm really bad at those things. Retail. Bartending. At some point I was a lifeguard. I pretty much was guarding the old people <laughs> that were living there, but yeah. I used to be an architect when I live in Russia. I was a senior data engineer at a specialty lines art insurance company. Before that, I was a data specialist at Squarespace, and in college I've worked at a bunch of restaurants. So how did either one of those jobs lead to tattooing? It didn't. Instagram led to me tattooing. Um, so I was a, so a computer programmer, um, and I just uh, I bought an iPad and started drawing, and I had no idea I could draw, and it turns out I could, and then so I, I've always loved tattoos. I've had tattoos since I was 16 years old. Um, and so I bought a tattoo machine and some practice skins, just started practicing, post, posting stuff on Instagram. And then one day, uh, Goldie Z sent me a message from Doc Creative Group and asked if I wanted to stop by the studio just to say hi. And she was actually, um, they were maybe four blocks from my office at the time. So I just came over during lunch one time and they asked if I wanted to apprentice there. And I quit my job like maybe three weeks later. I moved to the United States four years ago, and um, the first thing I thought, how can I get money, like was drawing because I draw draw a lot, and I found a place where I can do tattoos. While I was doing my apprenticeship for tattooing, I worked in a kitchen, an Italian fine dining. It was great. I ate all food all the time. Uh, I learned a lot, like the hustle of that. Um, and before I started tattooing, I ran my own t-shirt company. Started my own t-shirt business and designed graphics, roped in my friends from art class into making graphics and sold them all around town. And it did pretty pretty well, actually. That was really fun. So I learned a lot of the basics of uh, mini entrepreneurship when I was 15. A lot. Um, my favorite is US Army Infantry Paratrooper, which I actually still currently perform that function in the National Guard. Um, other than that, I've done pretty much whatever you can think of. Plumbing, electrical, bouncer. I was a bouncer for eight years. That was a lot of fun. Uh, I don't like getting punched and kicked. I don't like punching and kicking people, but I'd rather, I'd rather cause pain by uh, injecting anything into people's skin. I was actually a cleaner. I used to clean like mass buildings like in the city throughout like big culinary schools and, like, and Dunkin' Donuts. That was like it. Well, I worked at a liquor store. I worked at a pet shop. I was a florist for some time. That one was pretty cool. You had a bunch of jobs. I did. She, she was Absolutely like, did. she's I like was also a bud tender, you know, like selling weed. California. Legally. I opened a small baking business out of my home for about two years. What did you bake? Um, so I made, it was called My Sister's Cupcakes. And I baked stuff like cupcakes, cakes, cake pops cookies, things like that, and for special still, occasions. I worked in the service industry for a very long time. I was also a traditional animator, so I actually drew on paper with pencils and made little cartoons, which I guess kind of influenced the style that I currently do, just sort of that micro tattoo, you know, tiny, tiny details sort of thing. And how did that directly transition into tattooing? I, I felt like I was well trained. So as an animator, you're drawing over again, over and over and over again these tiny drawings, which is a, a fraction of uh, of movement between the two. And it it really helped define my line my line work. And I found that it was easier when I was transitioning from animation into becoming a tattoo artist that my line work was stronger than my shading work because I didn't really do shading and animation that was just sort of a line tech. I was a florist for like almost two years, um, which was really cool, but the it was very stressful trying to do people's weddings. I was a hostess, I've worked at pizzerias, I've worked at like party fairs. I had only one job before I became, actually two, bec before I became a tattoo artist. One was a, a, a normal, regular job in a big store. 
um, doing visual merchandising. And the second one, I used to be an illustrator for a children's book. Before I started to tattoo, I went to university. I, um, I have a degree in visual communication. I used to work in an ad agency when I was like 20, 21 as far as I can remember, but on the side, I was already tattooing, so it all happened at the same time. I have like nine different jobs. I was a graphic designer, photographer. I opened a bar and a restaurant. I was a DJ. I, I was a host for a traveling show. And then when I moved here, first job that I did was a food runner and then server bartender, bar back. Street art, painting portraits for like graphic, or, and I work in the graphic design for stamps or, yeah, always painting, art things. I worked at a number of coffee shops. Um, I also did an internship at F-Secure Antivirus in California, so that was my first job, was doing grunt work in like a tech office. Did any of those lead to tattooing? I think they all led to tattooing because you just realize what things you don't want to do. And I was doing graphic design originally when I was in college, and you just realize that like, holy fuck, these clients are boring. I was doing like, you know, letterheads and logo design for like a hair removal clinic or, you know, just some really pedestrian shit and then you would go to like a tattoo shop and you could be drawing skulls where like the eyes were tits and everything's on fire and you can you know wear death metal shirts and I think those things were more important to me at 19 than they are now but I still appreciate the sort of uh, ability to do whatever you want because creatively it really opens up. Um, I actually had really great jobs. I had no reason to leave those jobs. Every job I've ever had I stayed at for more than uh, more than a few years. I was always like moving up in companies it was um, all retail. I've worked at art supply stores. My first ever job was McDonald's. Do not ask. I stayed there for three days, left one day, no call, no show, never came back. It's gross. The floors are slippery. It smells like French fries all fucking day. You go home smelling like French fries. Um, other than that, I had then art supply stores. Then I worked. Can I, am I allowed to say the company names? I worked for a really big company called Swarovski. I worked there for a few years, uh, one of the best jobs I've ever had, and that was the job that I left to start tattooing, and everybody was so cool about it, um, and that's it, yeah. I was like the retail queen. I uh, worked every job under the sun pretty much, because I've just been working since I was 14, so I worked at a bakery selling Italian pastries, uh, and then I started working just a bunch of different retail jobs, you know, um, am I allowed to name places? I used to work at Best Buy, I worked at Journeys, um, I worked at H&M, I just worked at a bunch of different retail places and that was hell and I am so glad that I'm not doing that anymore. Those were the worst years of my life working retail. I worked at like a cafe for a little while, just as a waitress. I worked at a grocery store, so like nothing particularly exceptional um, and nothing really artistic because it was just, um, I was at college basically when I got my apprenticeship. Um, so I was doing a job and I was going to college and then after that on the weekends I was going to my apprenticeship. Um, so it was just a, a very busy time in my life so I didn't, I suppose I've just always tattooed like in full-time work, I've just always tattooed. 